and it's that time again. Welcome to Cram Time, welcome to another video. Today we'll be discussing the differences between discrete and continuous data. We start right now. So we're gonna make this quick, okay? So we're gonna talk about discrete data versus continuous data. And the first thing that's really stuck with me throughout my education is that discrete data is counted. So what that means is, say I have a classroom full of students, I'd say one student, two students, three students, four students. It's something that you can just physically point to and just go one, two, three, four. Now the value of this definition is really added with the continuous side of it. It says measured. Anything you have to measure that has a more complexity to it, you can use a stopwatch and measure time. Because there's no such thing as one unit of time than two units of time, not like that. There's decimal points involved. It's a continuous data. And I'll get into that a little later. So counted versus measured. Very easy. Don't overcomplicate it. You're not going to be quizzed on something too complex. Just stick to these basic rules. Now, next thing are some examples. So discrete data, you're going to have the number of people again, one, two, three, four, five, six, so on and so forth. Easy to count, objects, etc. Now on the flip side, you have continuous data. And again, it, can, it has to be measured. It's something you measure. Distance can be 0 0.0005 meters, can be all the way up to 999,000 meters. So there's continuous data. There's no skipping involved. Every single piece of data is part of it. It's continuous. Same thing with time. Time is continuous. You're never skipping over anything. You're not going from one second to two seconds. You're going to one seconds, 1 1.0001 seconds, continue on. Growth, of course, same thing. You're growing. You can't skip a height. You can't go from four feet to five feet without going through every single inch and every single subunit of that. And then finally, what I think is the best way to look about discrete data versus continuous data is something I came up with. I call it the line graph test. So essentially what the line graph test is, is that can you draw a line graph with this data that such that the line is an accurate portrayal? First of all, like say you take discrete data and you're counting the number of people in a class as they walk in. Sure, you'd have zero, then one, then two, then three, and you could draw a line through that, but it's not really it's not really applicable because it's not everything on that line is an actual data point. That's not possible because you can't have 0.5 students. But if you have continuous data and you draw a line graph for it, like distance away from home, every single, even though you might only have like 10 data points, everything between that is a realistic data point and had to have happened in some shape or form. Same thing for time, same thing for growth. So that's the line graph test, and that's just a way to visualize it and make sure you're getting this right every single time. If you're currently cramming for a test, click on the correlating playlist in the description. As this video and channel were of value to you, hit that subscribe button and like the video. I'd love to hear your video requests and feedback in the comment section below. Thanks for your support and stay safe.